2015 has been a big year for wild tracks. This year, Ramesses, the endangered Antillean manatee who arrived in 2013 badly injured from boat strikes, completed his rehabilitation process. Excelling in the pre-release step of the soft release process, Ramesses was released into Corazal Bay Wildlife Sanctuary. He has been doing extremely well, even helping to locate a manatee resting hole that was previously unknown to wild tracks and other manatee monitoring teams. Khaleesi, Mitch, and Lucky have been integrated and are now happily in the lagoon enclosure. The three are doing well, bonding closely, and learning the important life skills that will help them to survive in the wild. Ben, who arrived in August, has recovered significantly from his boat strike injuries. Previously unable to dive because of his partially collapsed lung, is now spending plenty of time underwater diving down to find seagrass on the bottom of the large pool. It is believed that Ben will be ready for release back into the wild in 2016. Preparing for the increasing number of injured and orphaned manatees needing rehabilitation in the upcoming tourist season, construction is currently underway on a second large pool. In the spring, staff members Jamie, Alicia, and Molly traveled to Centro Rescata Terracaya, a wildlife rehabilitation facility in Peru, for spider monkey release training. During an intensive week, they learned about Terracaya's method of rehabilitation, release, tracking, and monitoring. This knowledge will be implemented in WildTrack's upcoming spider monkey releases, with the first release of the Satellite 2 troop planned tentatively for 2016. Early this year, staff and volunteers alike were thrilled to discover that Frisky in Satellite 1 had given birth to a healthy male infant named Fig. This has been a special chance for everyone to see an infant reared by its mother, something denied to all of the monkeys at Wild Tracks who were poached as infants for the illegal pet trade. With new spider monkey arrival Cass, only slightly younger than Fig, Wild Tracks has a unique opportunity to study the development of the two as they grow in very different environments. What we learned from observing Frisky, Fig, and Cass will be implemented in the nursery unit. The Howler Forest Complex is nearing completion, with all non-nursery howlers moved out and enjoying the new style of enclosure with added height and climbing opportunities. In Fireburn, four troops were successfully released this summer, and we are proud to announce the birth of six howler infants, the first howler monkeys to be born in Fireburn in over 70 years. This spring, Wild Tracks also released two rehabilitated margays into Fireburn. One of the margays, Taz, even returned to the release site for several weeks, something rarely recorded. We are also excited to announce that Wild Tracks now has a drone. This will be used for monitoring release manatees and surveys of wild manatee populations. As always, Wild Tracks cannot thank enough the dedicated staff and volunteer team for all the time and hard work that they have put in. It's because of you that everything is made possible. Thank you to all Wild Track supporters for helping to make a difference. The future for these endangered species is now brighter.